Welcome back to Bonding Over Bourbon. This week, Cat and I are in Raleigh, North Carolina. We have a super cut of bourbon haunting at the ABC stores with a little something extra. ABC had a ton of local only brands, which we'll highlight throughout this video. Cook's Mill had a flavor profile similar to Buffalo Trace, but with a higher price tag. This is another MGP product. We tried bulk barrel finishes and they're fine. Shout out to James and Jessica for putting us on to conviction. It's delicious. Southern Star was MGP, but is now locally made. Check the back of the label, and if you find the Paragon, pick it up immediately. Thanks again, James. Look, a whole family of Yellowstone, including the baby. Old Soul was a delicious surprise during our trip, and we're definitely getting some back home. I've been looking for this bottle for years. My dreams have finally come true. Bring your foldable chair and your tackiest polo, Tommy Bahamas in the house. I begged and I begged, but we couldn't bring the old Louisville homes. Fordham is an organic green to glass distillery honoring their late son. These bottles are gorgeous. Take me to the source. A little longer than a few minutes later. Located in Zebulon, North Carolina, just 30 minutes outside of Raleigh, Chris and I just had to go. Old Raleigh Distillery was one of the first small businesses to open in the town center of Zebulon, which encouraged other businesses to follow suit. Randy McCraney and family built and restored the space over a two-year period by hand. Even their bar countertops use the wood from the original rafters before restoration. The end result is a contemporary room with old world touches, an event space, an elevated bar program, and a copper still that is proudly displayed in the center of the room. The unique thing about Old Raleigh is their Whiskey Society. This includes tailor-made bottles for each member that they keep in their whiskey vault and will ship out of state. 
fine print not included. Although they have not begun distilling their own spirit yet, they are sourcing from multiple locations and have stock as old as 20 plus years. All of their small batch blends are one-offs and will never exist again. Each bottle is truly a unicorn within its own right, and if you don't pick it up, you may never see it again. All of their barrels use a level 3 char, and have other seasoned barrels including a triple sec curacao, armagnac, and tawny port barrels. Their team is made up of five people who do everything from barreling to bottling, bartending, and distribution. They were incredibly welcoming and guided us through their unique offerings, even allowing us to smell what was in the barrel. Keep an eye out for their Cigar Badge blend. It won number two nationally, and their latest release is about to debut right about now. They won an award for bottle design, which was the reason we came here to begin with. No detail was left behind. Even the wallpaper in the bathroom resembles the symbols on the bottom of the bottle. Through such a generous tour, we sat down for a few pours at the bar and saw a smoke show. An old-fashioned smoke show, that is. When it came time to order a pour, we couldn't decide, so we just ordered them all. Our tour guide and bar manager, Christy, told us all about something called Coffee Bomb which was a beautiful accident that turned into a delicious product, so we ordered that too. Batch 12 tingled the nostrils, hence the name. Batch 13 was unlike any other whiskey we've ever had. The honey barrel was delicious, but was a little too sweet for us. And we had two versions of this, with the coffee bomb being way more concentrated. We both loved Batch 13 so much, we couldn't leave without a bottle. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, give this video a thumbs up, let us know your thoughts below in the comments, and subscribe for more content in the future.